Thanks a lot, Becca. Well, now noon, a celebration of art and creativity is returning soon to Uptown Charlotte. Charlotte Shout, just a few days away from returning. In two weeks, we're going to be celebrating artists and musicians and chefs and more. There'll be activities, exhibitions and performances. And this is, it's such a family oriented thing. You're going to want to be a part of it. So joining us live in the studio, someone who's making it all possible. This is Rick Thurman, who's the Chief Marketing Officer for Charlotte City Partners. Rick, good to see you today. Glad to be here. Thanks for having me. Um, how old is Charlotte Shot? How many years running? That's a great question. It started in the early 2000s, took a break after the Great Recession, mm -hmm. and came back strong in 2019. Yeah. A couple of years break because of COVID, and now we're, we're back for our second year consecutively since 2022. Back and ready to go. Now, some folks may be new to Charlotte who are watching today. How would you characterize, describe Charlotte Shout, what it's all about? Yeah, well, it's, it's 17 days, first of all, all over Uptown. Over 200 installations, performances, activations, almost all of it free, but really it's a celebration of our community's creativity, mm -hmm. our community's diversity. Almost everything that will be produced is by a local or regional artist. We also are bringing in some national, international artists to kind of up the ante a little bit. Oh, wow. So how is it laid out? I mean, is it, a lot of folks are gonna want, well, is it just along the streets? Is it in buildings? Is it like in the Mint Museum or something? How, how is it laid out? Yeah, a lot of it is outside. Mm -hmm. So one of the best things about it is you could come three different days and have three different experiences because wow. there's so much happening yeah. in so many different places. Um, we have a, we have something called the roaming gnomes. So these sort of, each one's different, these inflatable, colorful gnomes that are all over uptown, each one kind of marking something new happening. Uh, we have two different music stages, two other music performance places, um, art activations like you're seeing on the screen all over mm -hmm. uptown, mm -hmm. different places. A great place to start, though, would be the Wells Fargo Plaza on South Tryon Street. Yes. Main music stage there, sponsored by Ally, as well as our Shout Lounge, which is information hub and, and that kind of thing. What is this really all about, though? Is it is it about more about uptown? Is it more about local artists? Is it more about local food? How would how would you describe that part of it? Yeah, so it is certainly in Uptown, which is the heart of our region, mm -hmm. but it's about the city. It's about Charlotte. It's about our people and how creative they are. Um, again, I mentioned how many different local artists are a part of this. So when you come and experience this and you're seeing an amazing piece, maybe, or hearing someone play, that might be your neighbor. That might be your colleague. And mm -hmm. we want everyone to understand that connection. There is so much incredible art in this city. I don't know that anyone really realizes just how good it is, too. So it's a great way to experience that, but also great food, other entertainment, just all sorts of things. Yeah, the, we have the Charlotte uh, Ideas Festival kicking it off the first weekend, sort of thought leaders and speakers. And then we have the Charlotte Streets Festival the last weekend, which is a great food festival celebrating our local chefs. Oh, wow. It's going to be terrific. Rick Thurman, Charlotte Center City Partners, thanks for being here today, letting us know about this. We're going to have all this information on our website and a link to Charlotte City Center City Partners. Just go to WBTV.com. And again, it starts when, Rick? March 31st. March, a week from a tomorrow. A week from tomorrow. Whoa, it's going to be here. You're going to love it, and the weather's going to be terrific. Awesome. All right, thanks, Rick. Stay with us. More to come on WBTV News at noon. But first, here's a look at what's coming up tonight on CBS and WBTV.